Okie dokie now. So, this is the first episode in the series of the At Home $30 Gym part. This is a total body calorie incinerator. This is a great workout for the entire body, legs, core, arms, stability, you name it, it's great. All right, so let's all welcome my lovely assistant, Chris. Here he is. Look at him. Oh, oh, what's he doing? I'm not really sure. So this may or may not be me, depending on how embarrassing he acts. All right, yep, that's definitely not me. Nope, not in any way, shape, or form. Let's just all ignore what he's doing right now. Okay, let's get on with this. So, the first exercise we have in the total body workout is called a squat toss-up. Now, a squat is a variation. So this front squat, you can see that his spine is straight up and down as he comes down. His knees get to at least a 90 degree bend. You can see when he comes down, his elbows touch his thighs. Make sure your elbows are touching your thighs in this exercise so you know exactly how low to come. And when doing this, make sure when you bring that ball down, that ball stays close to your chest. Otherwise, you can be strenuous on your back. Now, what we have next in our workout is going to be the stability push-ups. So this exercise is going to be just like a normal push-up, except you're doing it on the slam ball. It's going to add a another level of difficulty with how unbalanced the ball is. So what that does is it, it challenges your brain to fire lots of different muscles at one time, more so than what you'd be doing with a normal push-up on the ground. And keep in mind, these the first circuit in this exercise, or in this, cir uh, this circuit of exercises, is the advanced version of it. On the second circuit, he's going to be performing a medium level difficulty, and lastly will be easy. All right, next we have a an overhead lunge. So as you can see, clearly, he's holding the ball above his head, and the arms can be in a, in a slightly bent angle, just for comfort, it doesn't really matter. Uh, but in the advanced version, make sure though you're holding it over your head, you're not letting it touch your head. With a lunge, it's very important that you come down. Your front leg should be in what's called a, a, a triple flexion. So you should be 90 degrees in your ankle, 90 degrees in your knee, and 90 degrees in your hip. Okay, so every time you come down, your front leg should be in three 90 degree angles. Very important, very important. Keep that in mind as you're doing this. And the next exercise, the fourth, the fourth in this circuit is going to be called the elephant swing. So you can't really see it from here, but the, the stance is very wide. His toes are pointed outward. He'll, he'll turn towards us to so, so show us how to do this. But this is, uh, it's very important that you, you don't swing uncontrollably. It is, it is a controlled swing. So make sure it's not totally above and beyond what a normal level of swing would be if you get my drift. All right, so that, that's four workouts in this circuit, right? And we're doing three sets of the four exercises. So next is going to be the front squat again, only a medium level of difficulty. So instead of throwing the ball upward and catching it, he's just holding it in front of his chest. So this is a weighted front squat is the correct terminology for this. As you can see, same thing as before. Every time he comes down, his elbows are making contact with his thighs so that you're, you're you know, the appropriate depth of squat. And see, make sure, every time you do this squat, make sure that the heels make contact and hold contact with the ground. Your heels should never be coming off the ground. That ensures that you're using your hip complex, your glutes, to actually do the, the movement. Your glutes should be doing the movement, not your quadriceps. Your quadriceps are just kind of a helper, if you will. 
All right, next, uh, medium level difficulty for the push-up is going to be what's called an asymmetrical push-up. So um, this is similar to a stability push-up, except you're only doing the push-up uh, with, with your hand, one of your hands on the ball. So see how one hand is on, one hand is off. That adds a level of instability, or instability, I should say, but not quite as difficult as the full asymmetrical push-up. All right, you could do you could do 10 of these, five on one side, five on the other. It doesn't really matter to me. It only matters to you. As long as you're doing these exercises, I don't really care. I just want you to be up and at them off the couch. You know what I'm saying? All right, next we have what's called a f just a front lunge. Pretty, pretty standard front lunge. Same thing as a front squat, only it's a lunge. So see, make sure you, you notice the triple flexion in his front, front leg. See, triple flexion in the ankle, knee, hip, right? His back knee never actually makes contact with the ground. So make sure your back knee is not hitting the ground. That will cause an injury. So please, please, please don't do that. Uh, and next, all right, that's embarrassing. Anyway, moving on, just pretend you didn't see that. Uh, Next in the exercise, we have the elephant swings. So there is really no variation of this. Uh, you have the weight. You should be swinging it. A uh, nice tight grip. You can see that there's a wide stance with this one. With the toe is pointed slightly outward and kind of a comfortable, uh, natural wide stance. Right? You can see how it's a, a controlled swing. He's still swinging the ball, but it's a, it's a controlled movement. And that's going to hit your lower back and upper back as well as a little bit in the legs, but mainly this should be a, a lower back exercise, so you shouldn't be moving a lot in your legs for this one. All right, what do we have next? Next we have the third set in the circuit. All right, so this is the third time through the same four exercises, only this time it's going to be an easy difficulty. So if you are new to this exercise, these are probably the four exercises that you should do. So the first we have is just a normal squat, standard squat. Now what you can see is he's doing different variations with his arms to help you. So the first one was just arms straight out, no challenge there. This is elbows, see how his thumbs are at his shoulders. That provides you with the, the height that your hand should be at if your elbows are pointed straight down to touch your thighs, All right? That's the depth. This is an overhead squat with no weight. Uh, this is going to be a more challenging version of a normal squat because it may surprise you, but it's harder than it looks to keep your hands straight directly above your head when you're doing a squat. That challenges your posterior kinetic chain. Uh, I will explain that fancy terminology maybe in another episode. So anyway, next up we have what's called a half push-up. Half push-up. So as you can see, he's only going halfway down. This is for those of you that are challenged by, at this point in the exercise, this far along into the exercise when you're getting tired, this will challenge your triceps and your chest like normal, only you're not coming all the way down. So, uh, you know, maybe for the females that can't do full-on push-ups or for the males that can't do full-on push-ups at this point in the workout, if you're getting tired, I would rather have you perform half push-ups on your toes than go to your knees and do push-ups, right? Challenge yourself every time, every rep. Next, we have just a straight up normal lunge but it's not weighted so this is a body weight lunge that's a static i call it a static lunge because your feet aren't actually moving anywhere you're in a static position and as you can see the his hand his his right arm is straight he's touching the ball that's the depth that you should get to every time because that gets you at triple flexion every single rep all right people okie dokie now that and last the last exercise that we have is the elephant swings. Again, there's no variation to this one. This is a pretty standard exercise. It's a weighted elephant swing. See how he's not bending a whole lot in his knees. There should be some, some bend in the knees because um, you can strain your hamstrings if you're not bending in the knees. So it should be slight bend, but as you can see, most of the work is done by his lower back. Alrighty, there you have it. There you have it. It's a great workout. Total calorie incinerator. The $30 home gym. You can't beat it. You can't beat it.